Hello friends, welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica with Rosie Research and I'm so excited that you are joining us in our Deadly Animals Week. We are gonna turn this toilet paper tube or paper towel tube into a snake as requested by some of our fans. So I actually have two pairs of scissors, a small pair and a large pair. I learned the very first time that trying to cut the toilet paper tube into sort of a spiral, we're gonna cut it in a spiral like this, is really, really difficult with the bigger scissors. And I kind of wanted more spirals because it doesn't need to be this thick. It just really needs to be maybe half that. So I'm hoping that with the smaller set of scissors, I can do that a little bit more easily. And we're we'll also going to need two types of tape. We have our masking tape, which you can also use a scotch tape or a duct tape, any sort of paper or plastic tape. Then we have our metallic tape, which is our copper tape. That's what we're going to use to lay down the highways for those electrons to light up these LEDs. I've got a CR2032 battery. And then I have a whole bunch of LEDs, and today I think these are my slow rainbow LEDs. I'm thinking those will be a lot of fun on my snakes, and we're going to do those ones. So let's get started. You're going to take your toilet paper tube or your paper towel tube, and we are just going to cut a spiral all the way through this. All right, now it needs to be thick enough that we can put two pieces of tape on it, but it doesn't need to be hugely thick other than that. And the thinner it's going to be then the more sort of spots for LEDs maybe you have, the longer your snake it'll be. I mean, I'm trying to cut it smaller than the last one. It sort of feels like it's just the same. But that's all right. We can also, once we cut this all the way through, we can unroll it and we can cut it a little skinnier if we'd like so that it has more of a snake shape when it's still coiled up. What I love about this is it's gonna be all coiled up. And that is a lot of fun. You can of course do this on just a straight piece of paper and then coil the paper around sort of a pencil or something like that if you'd like to. But it's sort of fun to have a base. All right, so now I've got this guy. I've cut it into a spiral. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to even it out a little bit with my longer scissors, my bigger scissors. So this will be like the tail of my snake. And I can cut off a decently big chunk. I just wanna make sure this is thick enough to be able to carry two pieces of copper tape that are parallel side by side to each other. But other than that, any extra thickness I don't really need. I'm just gonna cut through and I'll give my snake like some space between the coils, which I think will be really nice. And it actually gives you a secondary snake. Although the secondary snake for me is definitely not big enough. This guy is too skinny to put my stuff on, but could be a great little decoration for later. All right, so here is my project so far. I'm gonna shape this into a head a little bit so that I can have sort of a, a snake head going on. All right, maybe like a little bit of a skinnier neck. All right, so that looks kind of like a snake head now. We've got that little neck. This one is the tail, so I'm gonna sort of really have it come to a nice skinny little point at that tail end. All right, so there is my head and my tail. All right. The next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to add our copper tape. We're gonna need some really long pieces of copper tape for this. And we're basically gonna go all the way down the snake twice. So I'm gonna get a really long piece. It's a huge piece of copper tape and I am going to get it started. So I'm gonna peel it off that backing. And once it's started and we have a little bit of that peel, we're gonna start placing it onto our snake. All right, so this might be a little bit tricky, especially for newer hams. And I'm just going to take it and place it straight on down. And we gotta go all the way along the snake. Ideally, we will do it all in a single piece of copper tape. It won't rip. If it does rip, you could either start it over, which is usually what I suggest to a lot of people, or I can also, you can also add another piece on top with a piece of foil taped on top of the two new pieces if you sort of really misjudged that length. 
All right, so we're going to keep on going. And anywhere, the nice thing about the snake that is going to be a lot of fun is anywhere we have these copper tape lines is places that we can put our LEDs in. I really like that idea. It gives you a lot of creative space here. All right, so we are nearing the end of our tail, which is great. You can go all the way to the tip of the tail. I have a great trick that will allow us to put that battery in kind of anywhere in the snake that we'd like it to be. All right, so I'm gonna cut it here just because it's getting a little skinny for my tail. Now, I have been doing so much stuff, my snake is coming a little uncoiled, and we'll fix that in just a little bit. We can recoil our snake, but there's no sense in recoiling it quite yet, because we need to add another piece of copper tape right next to the other one. So we're gonna get another really long piece of copper tape. You're gonna get it started just like we did before. And find your top of it. And you're going to put it, and they're going to be parallel, but not touching. Really important that these two pieces of copper tape don't touch. I would try to keep them sort of as close together the whole way down, so don't go really far away and then really close. You want just a little bit of space between them. It doesn't need to be a lot. In fact, the more space you have, it might make it harder for your LEDs to sort of jump that gap with the legs. But if it's too little, then they'll be touching each other and that can break your circuit sort of finding the right spot. All right, so here we go. We're gonna keep doing this, and then after this, we'll coil it back to sort of what we want our final product to look like, which will help us place our LEDs. All right, we are almost there. This is a lot of fun on a paper towel tube because it's just so long around such a long little snake. All right, so now I can recoil this by just sort of twisting it up. So you can see I still have this glorious snake going on. Here is my head, which maybe I don't want to be coiled as much. I think I'm gonna shape this into a tongue as well. All right, so let's put our battery in next. Now, if this is the way I want my snake to be, I kind of want my battery to be hidden and underneath. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my snake over and I'm gonna take a piece of my masking tape right here and I'm gonna choose any one of these bottom coils. I think I'm gonna choose the one by its head. And I'm gonna cover up a little piece of just one of them. All right, so I've covered up a chunk of just one of these. And then what I can do is I can take my battery and it can go right here on this one and I can tape it in just like that, knowing that it's not actually gonna touch this other one. That's why we need that little piece. It's just to make sure that we don't do something called short circuiting our circuit, which makes it so that the electrons can just jump from the top to the bottom of the battery without having to do any other work. And they do love that. They will choose that all of the time. All right, so I'm gonna tape this in pretty good. Now you might be saying, but Dr. Erica, how, we always have these flaps that sort of cover this, and how are we gonna do that? And we're actually gonna do it with another piece of copper tape. So let's take a strip. It doesn't have to be long. I'm just gonna take this piece right here. Not gonna take the backing off, all right? And I'm gonna make sure that it's only touching the line that I just covered up here. So when I come over here, I want to make sure that it's not going to accidentally touch this one. It's just going to touch this guy right here. If you're worried about it, what you could do is you could even add in a piece of tape like this that covers up that piece so it doesn't accidentally get connected. All right, so we're going to take our copper tape with the backing on and we're going to put it upside down so that I can see the paper. So the copper tape is going to be what's touching the battery. And then I'm going to tape this down over here. So it's always gonna be connected like that. And then I can tape it right onto my battery and that will be my switch. So when I want it to be off, I can untape it. When I want it on, I'm gonna tape it down just like that. And we can test our project by just taking any old LED and putting the long leg on the one that has the switch piece connected to. Now this is gonna be sort of trial and error as we go. 
Let's see. Oh, there we go. All right, so I still have to press here. That's just a taping issue. So let's see if we can fix that. Make it a little bit better so that we don't need to be pressing down. So what I might do is I might just sort of have this guy flip over even more to try to give it a little more pressure on it. Another thing that you could do is just a piece of foil. Pieces of foil are fantastic for right here. And I think part of this for me is that I, um, I have so much other stuff on my battery, so much other tape right now. Can't press very well. But let's do that and then let's check here again. You can check with any LED. There we go, now it's working. So every time I put an LED in, I'm gonna check and if it doesn't work, then I'll know that I just need to flip my legs over. All right, so here is my sneak again. I've got my battery now on the bottom. I can just flip it over and I'm gonna choose any of these places that I want to put an LED at. So I think it'll be fun to sort of put them along here where I can really see them. But if you want them all over the sides, that's totally fine too. So what you can do is put one leg on each piece of copper tape. If it doesn't work, flip your LED around and it should work immediately. All right, and that's really the way because we don't have that template to tell us all the, where every leg goes. You just wanna flip it around. Once it works once, you know it'll work. So that is good news. It's just getting it the right direction. And maybe I wanna put like two LEDs on each one of these. So then you're gonna tape your LED legs down, just like we always do. And so now I have one LED going. I love these rainbow ones. I thought it'd be a lot of fun for this sneak. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I think the long leg goes up towards the front. So I'm gonna check that. And, yep, there we go. And we will tape this one in as well. There we go. Now we've got two beautiful rainbow LEDs going. All right, so what we have now is a snake. It's got all sorts of LEDs throughout its body. I sort of shaped up its head a little bit. It's all ready for the decorations and the fun, but it works. It was really simple, just cutting up that toilet paper tube and putting two parallel lines of that copper tape, and then you can plug in all of those LEDs. The stronger the battery, so either the higher voltage or sometimes you could even stack two of the CR2032s and it will make these all a little bit brighter for you but it turns into a lot of fun for this deadly creature we have. I hope you'll check out our other ones that we're doing. We've got a shark and a scorpion that are a lot of fun. And check us out at patreon.com slash Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you soon. Bye friends.